The substitution reaction involves substituting or replacing one functional group on a molecule with a new, different functional group, like this reaction right here. There are two possible ways that substitution can occur. These ways are called mechanisms. Let's start by defining what a mechanism is. A mechanism is referring to the exact series of steps of a chemical reaction. In general chemistry, we really focused on balancing an overall equation. What are the reactants and what are the products and what does the reaction make overall? But in organic chemistry, we're going to expand that. We still care about what the reactants are and what the products are, but we also care about exactly how do the reactants convert into products? What are the steps that take place? In what order are the bonds broken? And in what order are new bonds made? So for the substitution reaction, there are, as I said, two different mechanisms or two different series of steps this, we're going to look first at possible mechanism number one. And we're going to use this overall uh, reaction, substitution reaction, as our example. And so we already have our reactants, our electrophile, and our nucleophile, and our product, and our leaving group in place for us. And in this reaction, we can see that the carbon-chlorine bond breaks. So we know that we are going to have curved arrows that show the carbon-chlorine bond breaking and the carbon-chlorine electrons that are moving on to the chlorine as a lone pair, which is what's going to give it this negative charge in the product side. We also know that we are creating a new bond between the oxygen and the carbon. So this extra pair of electrons on the oxygen reaches out and forms a bond with this carbon. So that gives us this carbon oxygen bond right here. This is one possible way in which this reaction can take place. In this mechanism, everything is happening all at once. The oxygen carbon bond is being formed while the carbon chlorine bond is being broken. So this is a simultaneous series of steps that happen all at the same time. It doesn't always happen that way. So another option, another possible mechanism for substitution would be to have these two steps occurring at different times, so not at the exact same time, meaning that one happens and then there's a pause and then the second step happens as well. So that would look like this and we're, we're going to use the same, same electrophile, same nucleophile and make the same product. So, so the second option would be that the, we first just break the carbon chlorine bond and when we do that, we are going to get our chloride leaving group. Now, because we've breaken, broken the carbon-chlorine bond, our carbon atom is temporarily having a positive formal charge. So we've made a carbocation right here, which we've talked about before. And that's one step of the reaction. And then that carbocation... performs the second step with the hydroxide ion. So here we are forming the oxygen carbon bond, and this is just taking place uh, over two different steps. So it's still getting us to the same product, starting with the same reactants, but it's happening in a series of steps rather than happening all at once. Now it's important for you to know that you don't have a ton of control about which mechanism occurs. Um, some molecules prefer to go via this all-at-once mechanism, and some molecules prefer to do the two-step mechanism, and some don't really care. And we do have the ability to, um, for some molecules to force one pathway over the other, but in a lot of instances, it's not something that we can control. So let's talk um, just kind of briefly about the importance main differences between these two mechanisms. So the first possible mechanism that we drew, everything is happening at once in one single step. 
it's one step reaction, whereas in the second possible mechanisms, this is two steps. And because this is a two step reaction, we actually have an intermediate that's formed. And that intermediate is always going to be a carbocation every time. In the first reaction that we looked at, there was no intermediate. And this is going to be something that is important later on. This, this possible mechanism, single step with no intermediate, is referred to as the S n2 mechanism. And when I talk with more detail about SN2, I will explain what the SN2 stands for and what it refers to. And the two-step reaction is called the SN1 mechanism. <laughs>